I just had what uh, can only be described as a catastrophic hammock failure. Actually, the hammock didn't fail, but the limb I had tied off to did. And I woke up very suddenly on the ground. I'll admit that that was slightly disturbing. Here's the problem with collecting dew, oftentimes in the Cerrado, is this water is really dark. That was collected off of the Hennessy's tarp in a clean bandana. You can collect dew about a liter an hour if you're if you have good dew a liter an hour is very possible. You have to start well before dawn though because it burns off as soon as the sun comes up it'll be dried off. But your result is often something which uh, it looks like something that came out of the worst mud puddle you ever thought about drinking out of. Now if you're out here and you have absolutely no water it is definite water and will keep you alive but you definitely have to treat it, you definitely have to filter it somehow and obviously filtering it through a bandana isn't going to work too well because uh, it's just the bushes and everything out here is covered in fine dust so the dew just pretty much forms mud when you start soaking it up and uh, if you're running a a rag through the grass you're going to collect all the different microbes and whatever is on that grass is going to be in that water so it's definitely something you have to treat and uh, but it is a survival resource if you are reduced to collecting dew it will give you that good leader uh, in the morning before the day gets hot and so you're starting off the day at least hydrated a little bit You can see just running the bandana through the grass like that on the end of the spear, I was able to collect a good rag full of dew. You just keep at that until you can continue to fill up your cup and you pour that in a canteen. But like I said earlier, you have to filter this stuff. It will be very, very dusty water. I can see this is running brown with mud. But dew collection, you got about a liter an hour if you, you start early. Of course, if you use a larger rag, you'll get more dew quicker. A t-shirt works really well for this. Um, dew does not always form in the Cerrado reliably. Uh, if you do have it, you'll notice it in the evening. It'll start forming, and, and it, if you could start collecting even then or, or work through the night, part of the night you could have yourself a couple liters by daytime and a lot of times out here that will be your only source of water up here on the, in the high areas. Now if I hike down off this ridge in either direction I will come across water, flowing water at this time of the year. But that's unique to this particular area that we have actual flowing streams all year long in this area. There's a lot of places in the Cerrado where you don't have that and do when it forms will be the only water out here in the dry season. So. Uh, it's one of those things that you think about as you change your kit seasonally to uh, go to the different areas. That's one thing I do is when I, uh, in dry season, I do uh, think about that. Uh, this trip I did not bring my filter. 
which is normally something I would do if I was going to camp in the Cerrado. I would bring my filter so I could filter that water if I ever had to. But knowing the area, knowing the water sources that we have around here, I didn't bother to do that on this trip. Dew collection is definitely a viable uh, method for collecting uh, water. It's a lot more effective to collect dew than it is to make a solar still or a lot of different methods, bagging branches and things like that. Uh, those give you a few milliliters of water each one. They don't create a lot of water, but dew collection, literally this, this landscape is soaked with it. So if you collect that, you will get some really skanky looking brown water, which has to be filtered and treated, but it will keep you alive.